think the keywords were in the lead up. Um, but I'm going to have these, bear with me. It's going to be a tough ride. Well, for me. Yes, thank you. I'm on tissue duty. So, as you have all noticed, our day, which Dan reminded me quite a few times in the lead up to today. Hi, table nine back there. Sorry, I'm sorry that I can't see. Oh, I can see that. Um, yes, our day this is. Not mine, ours day. Um, it's been pretty traditional. We had a member of the church marry us. You've smiled for plenty of photos. Um, and there are more to come too, so don't worry about that. Um, and those photos will look back on this day each year, I promise. Um, and hopefully you've enjoyed some drinks and some nice food so far. You've also sat through a Shane Rossi speech, and for those who haven't uh, experienced that today, I hope it's very... Uh, or congratulations, and I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Third time's the charm, Dad. You just keep getting better and better. Saddle Marty, you're in my We love your work, Dad. Uh, I'm going to break tradition though, and I'm going to take the main the main speech tonight. Um, I guess I follow up after Dad's footsteps a little bit, <laughs> and I married Dad. <laughs> Can't win them all. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Andrew. I know chicks aren't funny, but I'll try and keep it concise. And... <laughs> no, just some of them. Are. <laughs> First off to the groomsmen, you're looking very uh, dapper today. Thank you so much for looking after Dan last weekend and today. And on my speech I said, and thank you for getting him here not in a prop or in something crazy like a cowboy hat. But, but i got to confess the cowboy hat was my idea. So, so thank you, you did your job very nicely. Uh, to my beautiful bridesmaids, Katie, Carly and Sally, while I'm keeping it together I'm not going to look at you because <laughs> that might trigger it. As I wrote the speech on a plane travelling to Adelaide for the Royal <coughs> Adelaide show for work, I was already tearing up, so I'm hoping that I'm keeping this composure, okay? Had enough bubbles to get me through to not break down, it probably will come, but I feel okay right now, so <laughs> Um, not only am I lucky enough to have you as sisters here at Cullen, <laughs> but you're also my best friends. Thank you for always being there for me, for helping me make this whole journey. Oh, stop it! <laughs> for helping to make this journey so much fun, which I actually have had such a good time and the whole lead up to things. I feel like I'm lying when people are like, how are you feeling? Are you good? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> um, and it hasn't felt like work at all, which I love. Um, I love you guys so much and thanks for your support and being up there with me today. You beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> to Aaron and Andrew, uh, thank you for accepting the job of MC. I hope you get a bit more funnier because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get the term of joke when I was so It's tender. It's tender. Oh, yeah. the, bar, the wood is tender. The wood's tender. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's still a shit joke. Yeah. <laughs> In all honesty, you guys are so, so great. And uh, me and the girls that you're not married to are lucky and, <laughs> and, and, and really lucky to have you as brother in laws. Um, yeah. Good job, thanks. Uh, to Jason, fucking top boy, mate. Uh, Marty, Deed, and Sonia, I knew that um, I could count on you in the bus, and it looks like you all got here, so thank you so much. Uh, even though you've come all the way from the US, I'm sorry that I dropped that on you a little bit. And Deed, we on you. Love it, Fantastic. Um, and yeah, Jason, Marty, thanks for getting us here. Marty, hopefully there's no parking tickets or any reminders about parking on grass or anything. Like at Carly's wedding. A <laughs> uh, quick shout out to our awesome suppliers, for lack of a better term. Um, Tracy and the Boomerang Farm team for keeping us happy and fed and with drinks. Hopefully you all have some still in your glasses. Um, Eliza, Dave, Genki from the White Fox team, you've been so fun to work with and I'm sure that what, what she showed us already is amazing, so so excited to get that. 
Um, our musician Brad, I think he's having a, a bit of a feed, but thank you so much. Um, and the Belamble Spit Roast crew. I haven't touched much, but once this is done, I'm gonna go and have some more, so thank you. Get all the carbs for me, please. <laughs> um, to the travellers, which is pretty much everyone here, as um, Dad and Mark has touched on. Um, thank you all so much for being here. It makes it so special, and Dan and I really appreciate it a lot. Uh, we have a whole heap of family and friends that have travelled, as you've heard, from Victoria, Tassie, New South Wales, Cairns, and in particular the grandparents. Um, we know it's an effort now, and <laughs> getting, getting harder and harder, and we really do appreciate you travelling here. So thank you so much. We love you. <laughs> to Sonny and Lee and Maddie, no competition of how far you've travelled, but we all know it's a bloody long, long flight and a long way. Um, we, we would have told you that we understood if you said that you couldn't make it, but we wouldn't have meant it at all. <laughs> we, we both love you guys so much and we couldn't imagine today without all three of you, so thank you so, so much for being here. Read through stuff like three times and you've got it. Um, oh, and we can't wait to visit you on our honeymoon trip. <laughs> Save the beds, please. Um, to the youngest guests in the room, Isabel, Reuben, James, and of course our new addition, Sammy. <laughs> so so well behaved and I have insert joke except X if there is crying etc but I don't have to because I'm not <laughs> um, and to your parents especially the mums obviously we understand, <laughs> uh, we understand how tough it is <sighs> Carl's <sighs> Um, you've been so great helping out pre-wedding, dress fittings, dress buying, hens do, creative stuff, the um, stubby coolers that take away um, with you please. Um, the invitations was all designed by her. Um, she choreographed the dance you're about to see. <laughs> um, and yeah, just, just to name a few things. Um, all while nailing being a first time mum of five weeks. So. Thank you so much um, and for still having the time and energy to be you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, I just want more to go, sorry. Double silence. <laughs> Little ones, Dan and I have a really special and exciting announcement oh. to make. Um, Nanny and Poppy, Marnie and Pa, Dan and I are really, really excited to announce that we're not having a baby. <laughs> US trip that we plan on eating and drinking our way around the country. <laughs> and I'm not going to be pregnant. <laughs> so, so publicly in front of all our family and friends, we hope that it will come and probably, hopefully, soon after we get back. <laughs> She's been to drinking all night. <laughs> Not uh, to our parents, Mark and Jenny, Joe and Shane, thank you so much for everything that you do for us and you have done in the lead up to today. We couldn't have made this day as special as it has been without you. Not only because of your extremely, extremely generous financial contributions to today, which does help, thank you, <laughs> but You've also set an exceptional example of what it is and means to build happy, loving, long-lasting relationships and families. 
<laughs> we are committed to follow in your footsteps and take your lead in this married life thing. We love you so much and are looking forward to sharing the next chapter of our lives with all of you. Mark and Jenny, as Mark's already touched on, I know we joke about no take backs from now and that this boy's my problem. <laughs> but I just want you to know there will always be traits of Dan. So thank you everyone for coming and travelling as far or as short as you've done. Doesn't matter the distance, it's still very special to have everyone here celebrating with us tonight. And between the uh, groomsmen and the bridesmaids, <laughs> forget me. Between trying to hold back tears and a few drinks, I'm going to struggle here. Now, you, you guys look amazing. And you compliment each other with the way you're all dressed up and the time and effort you've spent getting ready to say. The boys probably a lot less than the girls. You know, you girls and guys are great. Um, so basically, before I start tearing up, which is probably a lot more likely than Megan, I just want to say that, you know, Never thought I'd be in this situation with such an amazing person. But when you find the right person, it's not hard to have such a great life. You know, when I first met Megan, I couldn't even book a restaurant right. <laughs> and uh, winging that one pretty, uh, pretty well. I don't think she knew about that. So let's keep it like that. But, you know, the second day came and I just saw how great of a person Megan was and I was like, well, no need to keep looking. <laughs> I found somebody who can style me and look after me. That's such a kind heart. So, the rest is history, really. <laughs> but basically, you know, I found my soulmate. Someone who's. Soulmate. Look, we've used the pun once, I'm not going to ruin it. <laughs> I'm going to stick with a soulmate. Someone who's. You know, as Megan said, makes me a better person. We make each other a better... People. Well, we make a better whole <laughs> together, I guess. <laughs> Keep in mind that I got it. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a struggle having someone just as stubborn as I am, but between the two of us, we'll make a sturdy home. So, thank you very much for coming.